I'm Justin with Boston Scientific and I'm going to show you how we can utilize Heart Connect in the MRI department to remotely program a pacemaker. All right, so let's first get familiar with the 3300 programmer. So on the side here, you'll see the on off switch and I've got a 4G cellular adapter plugged in for connectivity or we can also be logged into the Wi-Fi, connect to the local network. And this is a conference speaker. I would highly recommend getting one of these as well. Now, before we can use Heart Connect, we first have to interrogate the patient's device. We do this by placing the wand over the patient's device and select Quick Start. Once your pacemaker or ICD has been interrogated, it'll take you to the summary screen. From here, we go down to the bottom left-hand corner where it says Utilities, and then we can access our Heart Connect tab, which is in the top right. From here, we select Meet Now, and a list of contacts will become available that have been preloaded in the programmer. For this demonstration, I'm going to select Andrew Badger, but you can see technical services is always available as well. Hey guys, it's Andrew with Boston Scientific. How are you doing? Hi Andrew, we've got a patient that's needing an MRI. I was hoping you could help me do some programming. Yeah, thanks for calling. I can definitely help you out with that. What I'm going to have you do is we're going to toggle through this. Just go ahead and go to that close sign right where the arrow is and press close. Great. Do you have the physician order form available right now? I do. The physician would like the device programmed at a mode of D as in David, OO, at a rate of 70 beats per minute. Okay, perfect. Let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the tacky mode button at the top of the screen, located right there. Okay. Next, we're going to go to the MRI protection mode and enable MRI protection right here. Okay. Next, we're going to hit the continue button. Great. Next, we're going to select our mode and rate. So under Brady mode, located right here, I want you to click that button. Okay, and here's where I select the mode of DOO, I see, and then I need to change the rate from 80 to 70. Got it. All right, from here, we can program MRI safe mode. You'll see your settings that the device is programmed to on the far right-hand side of your screen, and you can print those here if needs be. Also, now the patient's ready for the MRI, so you can remove the wand and select end session. We confirm that we want to end session by selecting this tab again, end session. This will also disconnect the heart connect call. Once the scan is complete, we're able to interrogate the device again by placing the wand over the device and select quick start. Once it's interrogated, you'll notice that the device is still in MRI protection mode. We'll select exit MRI protection, and then we can repeat the steps necessary to connect with the heart connect representative.